This video will review how to put a balloon onto an EUS radial scope. We are using the GF UE160 AL5 EUS radial scope with an MAJ864 radial balloon applicator and MAJ233 radial balloon. Let's start by looking at the function and details of each product to ensure you are familiar with the design features and how they work. EUS valves are two-stage valves. Often, when the valves are new, they need to be primed. We can do this by pressing the valve button completely down several times to confirm it moves smoothly. Tip, if the button is difficult to press completely down to the second stage, turn it upside down and press it firmly down on a hard surface. First, let's review the MAJ1443 suction valve. Pressing halfway down to the first stage on the button of the MAJ1443 suction valve will aspirate fluid into the working channel of the scope while completely pressing on the button to the second stage will aspirate the water out of the balloon. For the MAJ1444 air water valve, holding your finger over the hole in the center of the button and pressing halfway down to the first stage will activate the water jet to clean the lens. To dry the lens, release the button and cover the hole in the center of the button with your finger to allow air to be emitted. Covering the hole and completely pressing on the button to the second stage will fill the balloon with water. Let's review a few features of the tip of the GF UE160 AL5 EUS radial scope. The salmon colored band is the transducer. There are finely cut crystals under this band and this area in particular should be handled with care. Here we can see the distal balloon attachment groove and the proximal balloon attachment groove. In addition, note the water and suction ports. The radial balloon, part number MAJ233, has two rings. The distal ring is smaller than the proximal ring. The radial balloon applicator, MAJ864, has two holes, the same as the balloon. The side with a larger hole will be used, and as you can see, there is a groove for the ring on the balloon. Now that we have all the parts assembled, let's begin the process of getting the balloon on the scope. First, fill the water bottle with water to the fill line only. Do not overfill. Depress the air water valve completely until the water flows from the balloon water supply port to eliminate air from the channel. Do not depress the suction valve. The scope can now be set aside. To place the balloon on the applicator, hold the larger ring on the outside of the applicator. With the other hand, stretch the ring around the top of the applicator. Tip, don't worry about any folds or rolls in the balloon. These will take care of themselves. It doesn't have to look perfect. Using the applicator, place the balloon over the scope up to the second groove. Using your finger or thumb, roll the ring off of the applicator into the groove. Remove the applicator. Tip, take care not to rub the balloon between the applicator and the scope as this can sometimes rub a hole in the balloon. Pointing the tip of the scope up, inflate the balloon with water. Gently squeeze the air bubbles out of the distal end of the balloon with your fingers. Tip: A good technique is to slightly twist as you are burping the balloon to dislodge the bubbles. Fit the distal ring of the balloon into the distal groove by starting the ring on one side of the groove and using both thumbs, roll it around to the other side. Point the tip down, inflate the balloon to approximately the size of a half dollar. Now bring any air bubbles together near the suction port and aspirate them by completely depressing the suction valve button to the second stage. Continue to inflate and suction the balloon until all air bubbles are eliminated. The scope is now ready for use in the procedure. Next, let's talk about removing the balloon at the end of the case. Inflating the balloon with water slightly will make this easier. Holding the end of the scope securely, Cover the balloon with a 4x4 to prevent splashing. Pinch the balloon and quickly remove from the tip of the scope and discard. Do not pinch or pull the scope, only the balloon. 